Good morning, everybody. At least it's morning when I'm recording this. Um, it is Monday, January the 8th. Is that right? Yeah, January 8th. <clears throat> and that is time to start with term four. So welcome to English 107 at Post University. Um, this will be the first of eight, what I call weekly walkthrough videos. Every Sunday evening or Monday morning, you will find in the announcements a video like this. And what we do in those videos is basically go through, literally walk through the things that are happening this week in class. If you make viewing this video a habit, um, it will help you make sure that you get all your stuff done for 107. So um, we also have in 107 on Tuesday evenings, starting not this week, but next week, we have workshops. And I am the person who facilitates those workshops. So it's a great chance for you guys to interact with me live. Um, information will come out next week about how to get into those. Uh, but those are those are happening weeks two through seven. We don't have one in week one. We don't have one in week eight. But we have workshops and we'll do something similar in the workshops in terms of talking about the assignments that we do here. Um, but we also have different topics and things that we cover in the workshops to help you just in general, not just necessarily with uh, English. So with that being said, um, one of the ways that we do this is basically just go through the course itself. So let me open that and uh, you should be seeing right now the home screen of our course. If you are doing most of your schoolwork either on a phone or on um, a tablet, I would really encourage you to get to a re regular computer at least three or four times a week so that you can use all the functionality of Blackboard. The mobile stuff is getting better all the time, but you are gonna be typing actual papers and you're gonna need a real computer for that. So when I'm showing you this, of course, I'm showing you the full version. Um, I don't have the mobile version on my phone um, and, it, even if I do, it doesn't really give me the student preview the same way that this does. So when I go through these every week, it'll be on a regular computer. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of things that you can do, like watch videos and and do the readings and things. Um, you should be able to do most of that on your phone, but you are going to be needing to do um, formal papers. So I would encourage you to go ahead and kind of, even if you don't have a computer in your home, um, one of my favorite places to use computers is the public library. Um, so little plug for libraries there. Um, but anyway, so this is what you will see if you were signed into Blackboard on a regular computer, um, just so you, you know, have that reference point. So when you first sign in, you're on the announcements page. And right now there's only one, my welcome video. Today, as soon as I'm finished with this, there will be two. Um, and I post at least a couple of announcements every week. Some will be video, some will just be text, some will be um, links to things that are helpful. So do keep an eye on the announcements. It's hard not to because the way Blackboard works when you sign in, you see them anyway. Um, <clears throat> but sometimes people try to skip over them or just don't you know, pay attention to them. So uh, do pay attention to the announcements. Over on the far left-hand corner, you'll notice that there are some navigation tools. Um, the very top one is the link for those workshops that I talked to you about. Um, we won't be using that until next week, but that link is over there in the left-hand column. A link back to the announcements if you're on a different page and you need to come back to the home page. Course information. This is something that you should be reading this week along with Meet Your Instructor. Now this link to the Ask the Instructor is uh, a discussion board and it is a place for you to post questions. Now, here's the thing, it is a discussion board. 
So when you post a question on Ask the Instructor, everyone else in the class can also see it. So it's great. You should use it. Um, if you've got a question about an assignment or you've got a question about a due date or you've got, whatever. But if you have questions about your own individual performance or your own specific grade on an assignment, please email me. Do not just post that on the board for everybody to see. So it is consider it a public thing. Um, but in order to post on it, it's super easy. You're going to be doing a lot of discussion boards, so you're going to get used to this. But um, when you come into a discussion board, there's a button that says create thread. And in this case, there's also a button that says subscribe. I would subscribe to this if I were you, because that way anybody, anytime anybody posts a question or an answer, you're going to get a, an email about it. Um, so it kind of just helps you stay up. When you want to post something, you create a thread and here we'll just call this how to use this DB. And you type in the box. You There are a lot of different things that you can do. You can change the size. You can make it bold. You can do all kinds of things to make it fancy. To be honest, most people just type the question right in the box. And then I'm going to post, if I can find it, I'm going to post a photo. Um, you can post photos too. Um, it's absolutely doable, no matter whether you're a student or a faculty member. And I, here's the one I want to post. This is my little guide for knowing when to use the um, email or when to use a discussion board anyway. So this is a perfect thing to post up here. When you're done with what you want to post, you click submit. And then when anybody comes into the Ask the Instructor, they're able to see it. Okay. So that's what that looks like. Um, that's the Ask the Instructor. Meet Your Instructor has all my contact information. Um, when you email me, and you should email me whenever you have a question, I un honestly answer email way faster than a phone call. Um, do not use that phone to try to contact me because it's a team's phone and I'm only signed in on those Tuesday evenings. So if you need me any time other than during office hours, you should email me. And I do answer those very, very quickly. Please make sure that when you email your instructors, not just me, but any instructor that you are using your student email from post and not a private email. Um, oftentimes those get sent to spam. Um, and also we don't know who you are. <laughs> so a lot of times these just don't get answered. So please do make it a habit, sign into your post student email, um, every day and check it, send emails that way. It's a good, it's a good solution. All right. So the units are all listed right here. You do have a separate link to the discussion boards and the journals, but I would suggest always using the, um, the unit that we're in. Each unit corresponds with a week. Each unit starts on Monday and all but unit eight and on Sunday night. So your work is due Sunday evenings. You do have some interim deadlines when we have discussion boards because you not only need to post your own discussion board, but respond to other students by Sunday. So there's some interims there. If you've got a discussion board during the week, you want to make it a habit to post your own response to the questions by Wednesday night. And that gives you the rest of the week to respond to others. All right. They are very organized. So when you are ready to do your work for the week, and I would start every Monday, I would open it up and see what's going on. I would watch these weekly walkthrough videos because that's going to help you strategize for the rest of the week. How much time am I going to need this week? Is it a light week? Is it a heavy week? Am I going to have to write a whole bunch of stuff? If so, you know, make a plan to do a little bit every day and it will not be overwhelming. If you wait until the following Sunday to even look at what's happening that week, it's going to get tough. Um, this course is designed to take a full eight weeks. So if you 
are, you know, you're prone to procrastination. Get organized now. Uh, it, will, it will save you a lot of headaches in the long run to uh, tackle each thing as it comes and start the weeks off on the right foot. So we're going to take a look at unit one. These are, again, organized in the order that you need to do the stuff. So if you start at the top of this page and work your way down each week, you're going to be great. In the overview, it's always going to give you just kind of a you know summary of what's happening and the concepts that we're focused on. There's always going to be a list of objectives, which are the things that you are learning this week. And then there are the activities, which are the things that you are going to need to do. So think of the activities as a to-do list. Um, if you are not an, a well-organized person yourself, and I have not always, I am now, but I have not always been a well-organized person. So this is not judgment at all. Um, but I would say this is a good time to start thinking about um, how you want to stay organized. Personally, I put a lot of deadline stuff in my phone, like to, you know, an alarm will go off, but I use a paper calendar. Um, my sister, her main sense of organization is a giant um, whiteboard calendar that's up on her wall in her kitchen so that she sees it. So each, she does it out for a month, but I mean, sometimes things come up for a week. Um, so at the beginning of the week, she would write out all of the things that need to be done um, and kind of reminders of of check marks. So I like a paper calendar. She likes the, the whiteboard. Um, there's a ton of other ways to organize yourself. We actually will be talking about that in one of the workshops. So if you're interested in getting some suggestions, um, feel free to feel free to attend that one for sure. Uh, by the way, the workshops will also be videotaped and posted uh, usually the very next day. So if you can't make that time, because they're on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern, and some people just aren't available then. Um, but th so they are recorded and they are posted the next day. So you won't miss it if you if you can't be there. But if you can be there live, it's a great chance to ask specific individual questions and get instant answers. So this week, your activities, you are going to, as I mentioned, review that course information page. Um, you should download and save the course syllabus. You can even print it out um, if you so desire. You are going to be doing the introduction discussion form. You're going to read, view, and engage the readings and resources, and you're going to complete and submit the unit one interactive assignment. So let's talk a little bit about um, discussion boards. Typically each week, the discussion board would not be the very first thing below the activities um, because typically you're gonna be doing the readings first. However, in the introductory one, you're basically just introducing yourself to um, to the class. So you've got some prompts here, some questions to answer, and that is the best way to make sure that you are always getting your points on the on the discussion is to um, <clears throat> is to actually answer the questions, like be very specific. So this course is designed to focus on different topics and subjects that matter to you. We are constantly interested in finding things out, finding out things that matter to our students. So in this discussion, tell the class a little about yourself and share three items that are meaningful to you. Explain why you chose those three items. Then share your writing story. How much writing have you done before coming to this class? How comfortable are you with writing? And what is one question you have about writing that you hope to have answered in this course? Now, you'll post your own response, ideally by Wednesday, although the first week there's no um, hardcore deadline on Wednesday, but it's a, good, it's a good time to get in that habit. And then when you respond to your peers, do you see any items that are similar to your items? Jump back into the conversation and say hello. You are not 
required to do that this week, but that's the best way to get in good habits. So, because you are going to be responding to your peers in the upcoming ones. So it's a good idea. Get started now. Um, when you are ready to do that, you will do it just like I showed you how to post on the, the ask the instructor. We're going to click on the link and we're going to create a thread and I'm going to go ahead and write mine out here. Okay, so I typically, if I were a student, I would also be also writing about the writing stuff. So this is where, answer the writing questions from the prompt. Are you real? Learner. Okay, so you will post your own response. Um, like I said, you can add photos, you can do all kinds of fun stuff with it. Um, we'll just leave it as is here and we're going to click on submit so again when someone comes into now when anybody comes into that instruct in discussion board they'll see my um my post okay you will be adding yours so once you've done that you're going to go to the next item so like i said everything should be done in the order that it shows here the next thing is readings and resources. So we click on that. We have a little um, visual for you, unit one takeaway. We have links to the chapters in the ebook that you're gonna be reading this week on grammar and punctuation. We have a link to an article by Carol Dweck called Even Geniuses Work Hard. You'll click on this and read the article. Notice these are all links. So all you have to do is click on them and open it up and read it. So there's the grammar. Notice that when you do, you will have to sign in. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because it's going to make me get my phone out and do all that authentication stuff, but it's super easy. You'll sign in with your um, post login information. It's easy. We also have usually a couple of videos, um, at least one video, sometimes more than that. These are awesome videos. It, it says supplemental resources, but make sure you watch everything. Um, video is a great way of learning things uh, for a lot of people uh, because it's what we're used to. So make sure you watch the videos. All right, so once you've done the readings and resources, you will be ready to do your first actual um, interactive activity, which is the unit one journal. Um, on grit and growth mindset. Journaling is a relaxed, reflective assignment that allows you to practice writing and apply what you have learned in the lesson. Every other week, you will be asked to a short series of questions on a specific topic. Your task is to think about the question and write down your thoughts about it in six or more sentences. That's important. 
each one of these needs to be at least six sentences, but there are no right or wrong answers. So as long as you're doing it, you're writing at least six sentences, you're going to get all the points for it. Okay. Here are the questions that you will be responding to in this first one. What is your first reaction when things get tough? What does this help you understand about yourself as a learner? And when was the time you showed grit and it paid off? Now, I will say I didn't do it on the discussion board, um, but sometimes for me, it helps me to write these in Word first, like save them, and then I can copy and paste them into a document. That also gives me a place because I usually will copy and paste these questions just to make sure that I answer them all. But the same thing applies. You click on the link and this one is going to add, you add the journal entry up here, create journal entry, and you will do exactly the same thing that you did with the discussion board. The difference is that only you and I can see those journal entries. The discussion boards can be seen by everybody in the class, okay? So that's the main difference. Those are your assignments for this week. We will be back. I will be back with you next Sunday night or Monday morning to talk about unit two. Um, and of course, next week, we will also have the additional um, benefit of the workshop. So I know it can be overwhelming to start a new term. I promise it's going to be good. You're going to be fine. Everything is going to be okay. So please do reach out by email. If you have questions or issues, I am happy to help. All right. So I look forward to working with all of you and to getting to know you over on the discussion board. Everybody take care and have a great week one.